out of the situation that life gives you, there's always a, a reason to find joy. I tell her, and I tell my wife all the time that there's a lot of miracles in this tragedy. For the first time tonight, we are hearing from the Grand Forks parents who lost their six year old daughter in an alleged drunk driving crash. Welcome to Valley News Live at 10. I'm Justin Betty. That crash happened one week ago today along Highway 2. Valley News Team's Courtney Lockie sat down with the family tonight to share more about their daughter and what they hope others can learn from her. It's a story you'll only see here on Valley News Live. We'd be trying to sleep at 2 a.m. and she'd be screaming Taylor Swift. <laughs> she'd call us downstairs and just do as concerts. This is how Robert and Nicole Luthane remember their daughter, six-year-old Katarina, cat, full of life, courageous, and outgoing. She was a huge ball of sunshine. She was one of the most outgoing, fun-loving girls that you'd ever meet. From baseball to taekwondo to playing the drums, she didn't give her young parents a break. She wanted to try it all. The moment that I think about a lot is Skillet came to Grand Forks. She looked at me and said, Daddy, girls can be rock stars. And I told her girls can be anything that you ever want to be. But in all the things she wanted to be, who she was shined above it all. Something Nicole and Robert always knew, but didn't fully grasp until now. My last day with her, I'm actually really fortunate I got to work the front desk and I got to spend all day with her and see her with her friends. The Luthanes came to Grand Forks two years ago. Robert is in the military and Nicole spends her days helping out with the daycare program on base where she got to spend a lot of time with Kat. On Monday uh, I got told there's a chance that none of them were going to be here. I was grieving for two people and then out of some miracle my wife's still here. They know there will be tough days ahead but they have each other and we'll get through it. It's what Kat would want. A $10 decision can save a family. That $10 decision, a lot of time will go unnoticed, but when you know, that decision is made to get in the car, it creates a lifetime of pain. While the family wants others to know the pain drinking and driving can cause, they have a bigger and more important message they want to share. She didn't know how to say sorry. She would always go, Mommy, do you forgive my sorry? She'd want us to say to the man, I forgive your sorry, but more importantly, I hope his children know that this doesn't reflect on him or on them and that they're destined for great things. In Graham Forks, Courtney Lockie, Valley News Live. Heavy story there. 43 year old Travis Bell of Fordville is charged with two counts of criminal vehicular injury in that crash that killed Katarina. Those charges are expected to be upgraded with her death. A celebration of life will be held for Katarina Friday at the Grand Forks Air Force Base. All right, switching gears.